Hello, Mathalino students! Welcome to our Mathalino tutorial. Sa video na ito, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa significant digits. Significant digits. These are digits of a number that are meaningful in terms of accuracy or precision. Usually, ina-apply ito kapag nagpe-perform tayo ng mga computations involving different measurement units. Na kung saan, kailangan nating i-express ang ating final answer in its required accuracy or precision. What are the rules in determining the significant digits? First, all non-zero digits are significant. Examples, in 219 centimeters, the number here has three significant digits, 2, 1, and 9. And in 7.935 centimeters, it has four significant digits, 7, 9, 3, and 5. Second rule, zeros placed between non-zero digits are always significant. Ibig sabihin, kapag meron tayong zero sa gitna ng dalawang non-zero digits, ang zero na yon ay makoconsider natin na significant. Halimbawa, in 4,205 kilograms, the number here has four significant digits. 4, 2, 0, and 5. Significant ang digit na 0 kasi nasa gitna siya ng non-zero digits na 2 at 5. We also have 3.0001 liter. The number here has five significant digits. Ang tatlong zeros na ito ay significant dahil Nasa gitna sila ng dalawang non-zero digits na 3 at 1. For our third rule, leading zeros to the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant. Ibig sabihin, kapag meron tayong nakitang leading zeros sa left ng ating first non-zero digit, lahat ng zeros na yon ay hindi consider na significant. Halimbawa, 0 0.004 degree Celsius. In the number given, it only has one significant digit. And that is the digit 4. Ang tatlong zeros sa unahan ng ating non-zero digit na 4 ay hindi considered na significant. For our next example, in the number 0. 0, 0, 0, 0.00015 grams, the number given here has only two significant digits, and these are 1 and 5. Sa uulitin, ang leading zeros sa unahan ng ating non-zero digit na 1 ay hindi consider na significant. Next rule, zeros to the right of the decimal point in a number are significant. Kung sa ating previous rule, leading zeros found on the left side of the first non-zero digit, they are not significant. In our fourth rule, the zeros found on the right side of the decimal point are considered significant. For example, in 0 0.200 meters, it has three significant digits. And these are the digits 2, 0, and 0. Take note na ang 0 on the left side of our non-zero digit 2 is not considered as significant. For the second example, 0 0.0170, it has three significant digits. And these are the digits 1, 7, and 0. Take note, 
that the two zeros found on the left side of our non-zero digit 1 are not considered significant. And for our last rule, zeros to the right of the last non-zero digit of a whole number may or may not be significant. Take note na ang pinag-uusapan natin sa fifth rule ay zeros found on the right side of the non-zero digit in a given whole number. And these zeros may or may not be significant. For our first example, 400 kilometers, the number here may have 1, 2, or 3 significant digits. Take note na ang digit na 4 ay automatic na significant dahil ito ay non-zero digit. And according to rule number 5, if meron tayong whole number na merong zeros at the end, pwede natin silang i-consider na significant or pwede rin na hindi. That is why meron tayong isa, dalawa, o tatlong significant digits. For the second example, 7,500 decimeters. Ang given number natin ay merong dalawa, tatlo, o apat na significant digits. Bakit? Dahil ang digits na 7 at 5 ay automatic na significant. At ang dalawang zeros na natira ay pwede natin i-consider na significant o pwede rin naman na hindi. That is why we may have 2 or 3 or 4 significant digits. At hanggang dyan na lang ang ating matalino tutorial. Sana ay manutunan kayo. Salamat po sa pakikinig.